Now I've got my MPC app inside of Logic Pro. So I've got it right here. And I'll click on that, it opens up, right? So let's play this back. Oh, and I'll go back into here, click on it. So you can hear what's going on, it's like eight bars totally and it loops again. All right, cool. So we got that figured out and I'm gonna close this out again real quickly. And you can see here, of course, there's some sounds still continue on, particularly those chimes. And now what I wanna do is pretty much set up the MPC to be separate tracks. Once you load up your MPC inside the software, you click this little plus sign right there and there we got a separate track going on. And so I gotta make sure my track is set up here. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And you'll see there's no more plus signs here, so I can have possible sixteen outputs. You can see the first one are going to be right here, which is one and two, obviously, right? And so these represent other outputs right here. So if I come to the outputs here, I come down to bus outs. I see what's going on bus outs here, right? And I can say, what's well, a bus out only, right? So I come to here, surround sound. And so what's going on here? We need to see the MPC outputs. You'll see them right here. These are the inputs, right? So I would bust these sounds out to a separate track if I was gonna record them. So in this case, this is MPC 3, 4, input 5, 6, 7, 8, 11, of course, all the way to 31, 32. We can have 32 different outputs. So it's pretty simple. I'll pull up my MPC app right here. It comes out again. And so I have pads, of course. I'll go to right here and we lift the bottom up and we see we've got our pads here. Now what's important here is that these pads continue on out these outputs. This output here is one, two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one, of course, I said before, is 31, 32. So they're going separately out. Normally, you would have them go into that program, in this case, and the current version of MPC, it would say track. And so I've got them all separated that way. And since I do, and I come back to here and I play the track now, you'll see everything's going to separate tracks. I can say if I press solo, it's the bass line. It's so cool to do that. And this is how we want to work with our MPC inside of Logic. And this is using the version, which you obviously can see right here. I'll do it again. This is actually 2.15.1. And so they haven't made one yet for 3.5, but that's why I recommend using 2.15 currently if you plan to use Logic and other software too until they actually create one. But it's a great way to work with your MPC in the app. And why this is a great way, because you can do anything you want to do with your MPC if you're an MPC user. You can also do this machine too as well, of course, you know? And so what I prefer to do, let's say I'm doing something in here, I may find something extra I want to use. And I'll come to here and I've got a track lined up for this purpose. I've got a track here, uh, which I've got, I'm going to mute this track right here, which is going to be all the NPC stuff. You see that? Because this is the instrument track. And I'll click on this track here and I want to do some stems to this track. I'll come to here, I'll go to Stem Splitter, and we'll see here, Stem Splitter is way more serious than it is in the MPC. You'll see here we have vocals, drums, bass, guitar, piano, and other. I can just strip them out. So I'll say yes, supply. Of course, separate stems right here, right? I can separate stems. I can uh, just acapella if I want to just get that, instrumental, uh, vocal and instrumental, uh, this uh, vocal instrumental drums, uh, I can do vocal instrumental drums and bass, or I can just do separate all stems. So I'm gonna separate all stems, right? I'll come to here. I also make a submix, I'm not gonna do that, gonna go to right to here. And we're gonna make sure we can split these stems up. And once it does, I'll have each sound as a separate stem. And I wanna probably use some of these sounds cause the actual uh, song, this, MPC project is based on is Sunshine from Roy Ayer. So I come down to here and I can see all these tracks. You're not going to play it back. Uh, no need to pay the copyright guys on this one. So 
Now, if I want to get one particular stem, I'm going to come back to um, here. I mute these out. I want this one on the end here. This one with others. So I'm going to press other here. I see this one. I'm going to come, of course, and do the same thing here. I'll go to process, like the last option here, which is to apply uh, normalization to the stem. So I'll normalize this, this area, region rather. And this is cool. I want to go from right here. The sound I probably want is going to be somewhere right about here, I believe. And I just want to press uh, play. That's the sound I want to get. Pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to stop this. And now I want to get that sound. So I can just export this out pretty much. So I come to here and we want to export this sound out. So it's selected. It's been normalized, so I want to export it. it. says here, one region as audio file, right? So export. I go to here. I want to export it. Here comes my export window. Now here, of course, you see trim silence and wave, of course. I prefer to do 32-bit, which is great. It's the best to use. I always use 32-bit. And here I can do other stuff. I can also come to here. I can set uh, over protection that come in. Normalization on again. I can do that again if I want to do it, if it needs it. I don't think it needs it, so I'm gonna leave this alone. Overload, protection only, that's, that's good enough right there. Doesn't wanna be too loud. I like that, that's good. So now I wanna select the folder and where I'm gonna send it to, right? So I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna press here. I'm gonna cancel this out. I'm gonna hide these options first and I wanna see where it's gonna go. Otherwise, it'd put me in a logic place. So I'm gonna go to here. I want to go to my desktop, essentially, you go to desktop, and I want to find something I want to use as a folder. I might make a brand new folder here on my desktop and call it um, A1 or 1A. I don't have a capital A on that. 1A, and then this is a uh, stem. Okay, I'll make this S for stems. And now I go to here, I'm going to create this on the desktop. And it appears here in my desktop. It's the desktop right there. Perfect. I want to export the file to there. Now that file is right there. That's pretty cool. So what I want to do next is, since I'm still working inside of Logic here, I can go back to my MPC. Um, I'm going to probably um, mute this. Right. And I'm going to pull up my MPC now. So I go back up here. Right. I'm going to select my track there. And we'll see the NPC here. I'll come to here. It opens up. And to bring it in, I'd come to here, as you see right here. And I want to get to my desktop. So I'm in File Browser. I can also go to here and do this, what I normally could do, pull up my Expansion Browser. And here I can do my Media. I want to come here to File Browser. I want to browse somewhere. So here I have my application support. I go up these, I got these folders on top of here. And you can see I can go to some stuff here. I can go back up, line these folders, of course. And go back up again and then here i'm in uh chromatic fire library this is from uh, machine so i can come into machine and get samples too as well which is kind of really cool i'm right here in that library right so i can cut that actually right now let's move this over a little bit i don't get confused with that idea and so we're here we're in that machine library but i want to go to someplace else so i'm going to probably check out see i think i got one of these folders lined up for that and uh let's see this first one here and so application support. So okay, I'm gonna go right down to here and I wanna find the desktop. Here's my desktop right here. I'm on desktop, there it is 1A. I can take this file and import it. I'll come to here in NPC. I can put it and import that right there. It's there. I can come over to here uh, inside of NPC and I can save that item there. I'm gonna press save right here. Let's go to save project. And I save this project once again, boom. And that's saved right there. So I can take anything I want to take as far as stems and put it in my NPC and work on it here inside of Logic or put it there, save them, and work them in the environment I want to work them, whether I want to work them as a standalone application or pull them up in Logic Pro, um, Ableton Live, uh, Pro Tools, um, just about uh, Studio One, just about anything I want to do. Of course, I have these options down here, of course, you can see here but it just makes it so much easier to work and get stuff done. Of course, machine too as well. 
And it just makes it easy to work too as well. So using stems here inside of the Logic program is dope. I love the stem sounds. Hope if you don't have that program, you can always contact us. So we can work arrangement out where you say, look doc, I need to get this stuff. Okay, I will book a session. I'll just get all the stems you want to get and we'll take it from that point. Any questions, hit me up at samplekings.com and look at us on YouTube. And of course, please subscribe. We're going to teach you some more stuff tomorrow.